Hello, for those of you who are curious and may not have one to hand, and you're wondering how these splitters work, or maybe what's in them, I don't know what's in them, I'm about to find out, and also uh, I wanted to know how much kind of data might, or light might bounce back uh, down the cables. So I've got a fiber optic tester here, that's kind of how bright the output is. I will just see if I can get that going through a standard single mode fiber without a splitter, just so we can compare the light levels. So that is how bright that is without a splitter. So that's just going straight through a single fiber through what looks like quite a badly damaged splice over there maybe, but um, let's see. Uh, maybe not. Just an artifact of having a splice. Anyway, pretty bright. So let's see uh, what happens when I put that through something with a splitter. So this is a 1 to 32 splitter. It's just a cheap one, the lowest cost one I could buy on eBay, uh, eBay or maybe Amazon. So plug in. And you can see there, it's splitting the light to all of the outputs. And let's see if I can get one of these pointed at the desk. You can see also that, that is quite a bit less bright than uh, going direct without a splitter, but that is what you'd expect. What that's doing is taking, uh, and I'm no expert in this, but from what I understand it's taking the full light that we've got over there and then splitting it 32 ways. So it should be about 32 times weaker than the uh, previous test we did without the splitter in the way. So the other thing I'm interested in is what's actually inside here. And I feel like opening this up might be a bit of a mistake and maybe a one-way journey into uh, into breaking it. But, oh, actually, before I do that, the other thing I was interested in, obviously, if I plug into this, we will get light coming out of every single one of these ports. The other thing I was interested in, if I plug into one of the outputs, do we get light? Obviously, we'll get light going to the, the input, but do we get light at any of the other outputs? So I'm now plugged in to the uh, one of the outputs out of the 32, and as I'd expect and hope, we do have light, which looks probably again 32 times uh, less bright at the input. But do we get light at the other outputs? So is the light that you as a customer sending down the line also reaching up at other customers and it looks like not a lot of it but there is definitely something there so i've put that onto uh, glint mode there's absolutely something there if i take that off there's only really enough just to disperse off of the cap if i take the cap off and i aim that say at my fingernail or at the desk, or at any of this, you pretty much can't see anything at all coming back down that line. So there's uh, enough to be visible when dispersed to the naked eye, but yeah, it's uh, not really a huge amount of uh, light coming back. 
down that fiber. Back onto the other question, which is what is within a PLC splitter? Let me see if I can get this into a position where I might not ruin it entirely because everything will pop out and uh, no longer be connected. Right, that's all uh, going again. Let's undo this box and see how many of these uh, leads will pop out and never go back into where they are supposed to go. In fact, I feel like the lid will come off, so I'm still actually the wrong way around. So let me uh, flip that back over. And I might do a big clive one moment, please, but uh, let's see how I go. I might chop this bit out if it looks very boring. Okay, that's all the four screws undone. Let's see if I can lift the lid off of this thing without causing a disaster. Feels like there's one extra screw. There may be. Haha. <laughs> there we go. There was one extra screw in the middle underneath that sticker. May even be another one. Aha! Ooh, wow! Like I thought, there's a high chance of this being a one-way operation. So what is in here looks to be a bunch of fibres glued in at the end here. And wrapped around in a little fibre race with this a little bit of plastic here. Let's see if I can get those back into their race so that they stay and don't get trapped when I put it back together. And the splitter itself has just been glued into place. So it's actually not too dissimilar to the loose splitters that you can buy. So these things. But in this case the uh, outer casing and the fibre itself go into the splitter container here. But on this one it's been stripped back and then each individual fibre without its casing goes into the splitter here and then it's just been hot melt glued into place so it doesn't rattle around within this box here so yeah I mean I guess it's different designs for different applications so this one works probably quite well uh, in a um, waterproof container or a container that's going to protect all of these uh, whereas this one works quite well somewhere where there's less protection and uh, possibly a design enclosure where this can clip in securely, uh, although most of them are also designed so that these splitter cases can clip in as well. Now I know what's in there. I don't have to be curious anymore. I've seen that. I'll put it back together. I do have one more thing I want to try in this video, which is uh, the, the other splitter I was holding just then is an, this one here with the blue connectors on the end is a UPC connector, an ultra polished connector, which has a flat end. The other one I've got has green connectors on the end, which are APC, which is an angled polished connector, I believe. Um, and what I want to know or test, uh, when I was plugged into one of the outputs over there. In the other outputs, we could see a very dim light coming back. What I want to know is whether the APC 
reduces the amount of reflected light or um, dispersed light that you can see on all of the other outputs. Okay, so this is my other test. I've got the APC connectors there with the splitter and the input. These ones have uh, non-translucent caps on the end, so I'm going to probably swap a few of those with the other splitter so that we can see So, do the same thing again on the input. This should be brighter because there's only a 16-way split rather than a 32-way split. And maybe it is a little bit not yeah, especially on the video, it looks brighter than the previous one. So then the other question is, does it change how much reflected light goes to the other end, or get, sorry, gets reflected back to the outputs? Okay. So plugged in and light reaches the input as you'd expect. Notice this uh, uh, before you get a weird pattern or a notch out of this possibly an artifact in the in the way it splits over here maybe and the APC connector does appear to reduce or even totally eliminate the amount of reflected visible light coming back. Yep, the camera sees absolutely nothing and when the cap is on the end whereas the other one was dispersing the light and you could quite plainly see it visibly with the with your eye, you definitely cannot with the APC connector. Uh, I believe that's because it's angled and less light reflects it's definitely a big difference to the um, the UPC one that we were testing with earlier. Maybe one day, if I manage to get a damaged one of these, because I don't fancy opening this one up when it works, we'll see what's within this metal casing as well. Hopefully this video has been interesting to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much. I remembered I had a device which could actually show me the signal loss um, through one of the splitters. So let's give this a go. Um, this is what the signal from this media converter looks like on 1310 nanometers going through just a standard single mode splice into the OTDR. If you're interested in uh, how much signal loss you get when you bend a fibre, here is quite a good demonstration of just how resilient fibre is to being bent. So even with that, we're probably still at a usable signal level. And I don't really want to go much further because I don't fancy snapping that bit of fibre. So let's get out the 1 to 16 splitter and give it a go. So it was about 7.7 .7 dB, or minus 7.7 .7 dB, I should say, on the signal meter just with a normal splice and no splitter. Try to manoeuvre one of these connectors around to the OTDR. Surprised at that much loss. Minus 28 dBm. That is quite astonishing. Let's try the 1 to 32 splitter and see what difference that makes. I might also, just before I try 
that, just try another of the connectors just to make sure it's not something wrong with that particular connector on the splitter. No, still similar uh, output on that, minus 27.8 dBm. Although possibly the only issue with the that other one there is using APC, so angled connectors rather than UPC connectors. I'd be surprised if it makes that much difference to the signal strength. So you also it could be the quality of build of these splitters, maybe. So this uh, 1 to 32 is giving minus 21.7 dBm, so higher signal is uh, getting through a bigger number of splits, which is interesting. So possibly it is the APC versus UPC connector issue. Um, maybe not. So the other thing I'm interested in is, so it's minus 27.8 just straight through the normal direction. I'm interested if I plug into two of the or uh, into another output how much of that signal I see coming back to another output. Well absolutely tiny amount of signal. It's not um, not there at all there is definitely some signal, it's, um, but it's it's really minuscule. So 50.8 versus, or minus 50.8 versus minus 52 dB. And then the other interesting thing to try will be reversing the input and output. So we'll be transmitting down a customer end and testing the signal at the um, the ISP end. So minus 22.6 which is the same uh, level of loss in the other direction as well or, or within the same amount of loss. When we What we saw earlier with the visual fault locator is the UPC, so the one with the blue ends, uh, reflected more light back to customers from customers or from the outputs. You saw more light at the other outputs. Um, I'm interested to retry that with this, uh, with actual non-visible light, so data. Makes no difference. So what we saw with the UPC, the blue connectors, is about no uh, sorry, no, about 2 dB of reflected signal between customers. So it must be reflecting off of the uh, the input end. And what we see with the APC connectors is absolutely no reflected signal coming back. Possibly slightly um, made less useful because I'm not testing with an APC interface in the media converter but I would expect to see some kind of movement. So there we have it. Hopefully that video has been interesting to you. If it has it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.